Okay. All right, so the, the pick is in here. Sacramento Kings. Some have argued this is where the draft starts. So let's see where we go here. And it looks like there's been a report that they're keeping it, right? So they're keeping number four. Matt Penny is silent because he's watching on TV. His face is fucking hilarious for people that are watching on the stream. The Kings uh, are so the Kings took Keegan Murray from Iowa. Uh, okay, who I'm, who let's I'm do very, it. Very very high on as someone who averaged 24 points per game, uh, ran it up all year long, shot nearly 40 percent from three. He was unbelievable in transition. Uh, got so much better and and rode into that role as the the primary scorer post Luca Garza. Wasn't somebody who just did it against non-conference players, did it in the Big Ten, did the Big Ten tournament, had like six threes in a game or eight threes in a game. Uh, the best line of the pre-draft process, I'm a 21-year-old, an 18-year-old's body, very late bloomer, uh, left and went to DME Academy in Florida, considered going to JUCO, came back, a great high-character kid. He's a worker, said really all he does is play basketball and, and some video games here and there. I love this. It, it's hard for me because still the guy I, I want is Jaden Ivey. Uh, but I love Keegan Murray, so the Kings are putting like my brain in like a weird place where I, I love the pick for Keegan. I, I still think probably Ivy's the guy. Um, so let's let's talk let's talk Keegan Murray to the Kings before we go on to the next point I got here. So to me, this I don't know, like this. Come this on, get excited! Is... He's good. We love him. He's had a great year. I I dragged you. I pulled you to like him, and you still put him eighth in your draft guide, and we'll, we'll <laughs> argue about that forever. But you had him like 10th or 12th. You came around. Sell everybody else who's still on the fence who just says, hey, this is a, this is just a productive yeah. player. How does this work? So, like, look, I think he's probably going to be something along the lines of Tobias Harris, who has averaged 18 points a game, six rebounds, three assists, and shot like 48, 40, and 86 uh, in terms of shooting splits over the course of the last five years. If you get that guy at number four – you're not disappointed, I don't think, right? Like, no. I, I think you're probably going to be pretty happy. And I think that Keegan Murray is going to be able to step in relatively soon and be able to play. Now, the problem is that I have Jaden Ivey a full tier ahead. Honestly, like, if, if a team would have taken Keegan Murray at five, I would get that. I have Keegan in the same tier as the rest of these guys other than Jaden. Like, I, I'm cool with it. And he fits what Sacramento could need. Like you pair him with Harrison Barnes in between he and Demonis Sabonis. You have these quick guards in De'Aaron Fox and Davion Mitchell. They're going to get him the ball. And he's going to be able to run out in transition with De'Aaron Fox. They're going to have Demonis Sabonis as the trailer to reset their offense whenever things get going. I get it. Like I, I do. I worry about the defensive fit in terms of foot speed with Demonis Sabonis to a very – like strong level mm -hmm. to where I actually don't know how good of a fit this, like we can talk right. about the position. I agree fit, with that. Right. Yep. Of Jade and Ivy and just taking multiple guards. And that's a problematic fit. We should also talk about the fact that I don't love the fit of Keegan Murray and Devonis Sabonis at the four and the five because of the foot speed offensively. I think it's going to go fine. And I think Sacramento is going to be probably a top 10 offense, like relatively soon, if not even like next year, uh, I really, really, really worry about the defense with these guys, though. I, I do, too. And, and that's why I rallied for a long time. You haven't been to the playoffs since 2006, a 16-year drought. Take the best guy on the board. I, I can't say this enough. I love Keegan Murray. I have him fifth. I wish I could have had him higher. I really do. Still, Jaden Ivey probably works. And I, I know that's not the clear, cleanest pairing with De'Aaron Fox. And neither of those guys really want to play defense too much, either. Please, Detroit, please take Jaden Ivey. I need a backcourt of Jaden Ivey and Kate Cunningham. I need somebody off the ball with him to be able to boogie and he can take a few plays off and not have to do everything. I was disappointed when Detroit kind of fell out of that top three because I thought they'd get a big, or, or maybe Ivey. Maybe they really wanted him as the guy. We've heard rumblings. Maybe it's Jaden Sharp. Jalen Dern has gotten some crazy late buzz here too. I, I, I just, before it even happens, I'm saying I would love the pairing of I've overused this, but like the fire and ice of the different styles that you have between Cade Cunningham and Jay Ivey. I said the same thing about Tyrese Halliburton and Jay Ivey. There's so different that you keep the defense under heels because if you're all frantic, speeding around, covering Jay Ivey, and then you have the slow pace of Cade that hits a guy off a back door and a bounce pass, and they're in Cade the next time, you fall asleep, Jay Ivey hits the Baja burst and takes off and you hit him. It's it's a different game. It, it opens up so many different things for, for the Pistons. Well, it looks here, here's the I'll, thing. I'll, I'll, I'll say this too in the background. 
don't read too far into it. Jaden Ivey has his hands down on his head, looks emotional. I'm hoping it's foreshadowing for this next pick here. Well, let's 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 close on Sacramento real quick because I don't even think the pick is in yet, is it? Uh, pick is in. No strut. Pick yet, is so in. Quick. quick. Okay. Let's let, let's close on Sacramento real quick. Look, Keegan Murray is a great player. Keegan Murray is going to be a valuable piece for Sacramento moving forward. I think that the obvious move, if you're taking Keegan Murray or taking someone in that tier, is to trade back. Right. And I think Monty McNair is a smart guy. I think that he is very smart when it comes to value. I wonder um, I wonder about some things here with the Kings, is what I will say. Uh, I am, I'm very intrigued uh, by what the Kings do moving forward here. Uh, do they try and add another veteran piece, maybe? Like, I think that's pretty possible. Yeah. This is a team that seems like they're clearly trying to go and win sooner rather than later because they haven't made the playoffs in a decade and a half. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here. 